Well, what's up, friends? Welcome to another edition of A High Five Moment. Joining me is my bestie for the day, Mr. Rob Key. How's it going, hey, Rob? Hey, guys. Awesome. <laughs> Good. And today, we have a very, very special guest joining us today. Her name, and she has really the best last name ever. Her name <laughs> is Miss Paige Klingenpeel. What up, Paige? <laughs> <laughs> If you, Hi, guys everybody. Know, if you guys don't know anything about Paige, Paige is the Connect Director at Pine Hills Church. She's also a licensed mental health therapist. And if you need a good podcast, let her know because she will point you the best direction to the Respect Team podcast with one of our right. other good friends, Amy. That's right. That's right, Amy. Yes. So Paige, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited for your questions. I know you guys just drop little. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paige, let's get started, okay? Yes, I'm ready. All right. So, Paige, we're in this pandemic right now going on, time of uncertainty. How are you being creative? Oh, being creative right now. You know, that looks a little different than most of my life outside of the quarantine, right? So I'm stuck at home. I'm stuck at home with four kids, two middle school and two elementary. So creativity looks a lot like craft time for me, <laughs> doing a lot of chalk drawings or uh, we painted the door, stuff like that. So we do the tactile creativity stuff. But in terms of how, because I have to get my mind going, especially in this quarantine. So the things that are creative for my brain is, is project planning. And I work a lot with classes in my job. So how can I think of new classes when we go back to the, I don't want to say real world, but it's kind of like the, the normal season. So that's kind of how I've been doing the creativity with the brain. So I have both. I have the hands-on creativity with my kids, some of that fun stuff. And then I also have like that projection for the future creativity with the analytical, which is also really great too. And not to mention, uh, I have uh, personally witnessed on Facebook her allowing her children to put makeup on her face. Oh, while yes. she's bound, almost while she's bound and gagged. That's amazing. But, <laughs> well, uh, they cut yeah. my hair too, so there's some creativity in that. They took <laughs> off like four or five inches. Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> <laughs> you are one brave woman, young lady. Let me tell you that. <laughs> so we're crazy. Okay. Either way, it works. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> okay, second question. Um, in the midst of a quarantine, uh, as we all are right now, and we're not sure when this is going to broadcast, so it might be more reflective than anything, but when you're in a situation like this, and I know this is really a first for all of us at, mm -hmm. to this level, being in the mental health field, we all have mental health uh, as far as we all should be um, uh, catering to the health of our mental state of being. Is there a tip that you might be able to give us to say how to kind of stay sharp and, and in tune while you're in these confined situations? I would say routine. Now, ah. okay, so my personality is very flexible and sporadic. Like, I just love to go with the flow. I think that creates um, just an energy level in me. But I know that if I don't have routine, that I will start mm. working on things that have no relevance to anything, right? It just doesn't keep me on not only a schedule, but just mental health wise, it actually yeah. starts depressing me to some degree. And so as long as I, I maintain a not a super um strict structure but it just it has to be a routine of getting up at a decent time and then working on something having a break and you know and so forth but yeah. for me routine is really it awesome perfect thank you Paige. that's a great one mm -hmm. now Paige, as we mentioned you are a connection director you're also a licensed um, mental health therapist. So I imagine that you had to read a lot of books, my friend. I imagine. Yeah. And I imagine yeah. that they play your skill set of being a therapist and your skill set of being connecting people has to play hand in hand together. So mm -hmm. my question is, what books have you read in the past that really kind of helped shape who you are right now? Ooh, such a good question. Because you're right. I read I read for pleasure. I read for professional development. I mean, I read, and I probably right now I have five books that I'm reading. 
But the ones that really, I know, isn't that wow. crazy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, There's like awesome. two nonfiction and then I have like three, yeah, fiction, historical fiction, like I'll cross the board because I have to keep my brain stimulated. But um, the ones that really impacted me the most, I think, well, actually how I got to this place today, Jenny Allen's Made for This. It's a new book that came out last year. It's a book that really digs deep into who you are as a person. It spurs you on into what your future can look like. Um, it really delves into your giftings, which, which I love. I love seeing my strengths played out. Too often I tried to pursue things that just um, were fun, I guess, frankly, mm -hmm. or it gave me identity. When in reality, those really weren't my skill sets. And so mm -hmm. now I'm in a, in a field that after reading this book, it really created that opportunity to speak what fit me best. So Made for This was a really good one. I also like um, Search for Significance by Robert McGee. I, I actually just shared this with uh, a group of young adult women just two nights ago. This is free counseling. This book, I'm telling you, besides the fact <laughs> you have to purchase it, but it's a workbook and it digs deep into who you are as a person, some of the distorted thinking that you've struggled with, whether it's performance anxiety, whether it's a people pleaser. I mean, it's just such quality in-depth stuff that mm. I read it every couple of years. Even though I've read it multiple times, it still hits me in a new way because as we, we grow and develop, we gain new distorted thinking and thoughts. And so it just kind of yeah. helps to bring that, that back together. So those two things are, are really phenomenal. Um, and then, gosh, just, you know, tons of other ones that just come to mind too. But I also like Henry Nowen, um, Discernment. That's another really good one. It's just a, it's a good book if you're looking for something, especially on the spirituality realm, of just figuring out how does God speak to you? How can you hear his voice? And it's just, it's been a phenomenal piece for me because it also goes into our identity, not only as humans, mm. but our identity as created beings um, and just the beautiful connection of those two things. So those are the three ones that probably speak awesome. to me the most right, right now. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, well, now that I'm completely convinced of how smart you are and how, <laughs> how not smart I am. <laughs> I won't even tell you about the nonfiction books then. How about yeah, that? Thank you. Now these are great. The, I, I wrote them back I wrote them down. <laughs> The fiction books, yeah, because then you'll be like, really? You're into that? <laughs> uh, no, really? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. We are on the, what is this, the fourth, fourth. question? Fourth yeah, question. Okay, um, who would you consider to be your greatest, um, I'm sure you have several, but one that you would really, really stands out as a real influencer of your life? Hmm. Oh my gosh, you're right. I do have several. Yes, and just because I don't think it just really is accumulates yeah. to one person. I have been so fortunate since I've been young, and you're able to see that now as you're older, and you're just like, man, that's so cool. To have all these people, but the traits that I have in these people, first off, they're usually a father figure. So it is. A, it's an older male male that sees potential, sees giftings, and then can speak that out into me. So I've had several supervisors. Um, from, from the counseling realm, from an educational realm, and, and now in my present position, who are able to walk alongside me and say, this gifting in you, I see it, and I think you need to mm. continue to develop it. And if I hadn't had that, because I don't see it the same way, you know how yep. we always have that, that yep. blind spot? Yep. Um, they'll say that the way that you can articulate this, the energy level that you put into here, that's that gra people gravitate towards that. Like, I don't see that the same way. And so those traits and these, these amazing older men in my life have just been phenomenal. And I would not be who I am today if it wasn't for them. And so a few that just come to mind is like Denny Howard and Bob Knight mm -hmm. and, um, obviously Michael Scott Drury, <laughs> the lead pastor. <laughs> Pine Hill nice, Church. Nice yes. <laughs> yeah, gonna toss that one in there, you know, since he's my present employer. But uh, again, like those men, just they've been able to really pour into me a way that I, I would not be the same person without them. Amen. That's awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Paige, I can't believe that this is the final question of our Ooh. time together. <laughs> but I will say this much <laughs> since you've never seen the show, I'm going to. Yeah. Ask this question in a different way. 
Ooh, okay. Primarily because of your name dropping that you've been doing this entire time. So, <laughs> Paige, if you could have anyone at your table, who would you choose? Ooh. Any person. Yep. Anyone. We want to make we want to make this easy. So yeah. you you can't choose Cam and I. It has to be somebody else. No, no speak for a <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, <laughs> No one's ever, no one's ever gotten this treatment. So I opened it up to five, five people at your table. Ooh, who are you picking? We're just Hi. hanging out with. Okay. Well, first off, again, now this will totally change your opinion of me, Rob, because it's going to show <laughs> my other side. I would love to hang out with Will Ferrell. <gasps> I love <him> to say that. <laughs> he is so. I mean, what people think is he's just really funny, but he's also super intelligent. And when you're a good comedian, you're really intelligent. I just, I love the way his brain works. I know a lot of his humor is, is off color sometimes, but it's just, just the way his brain works really fascinates me. So I would, and he would probably just make me cry from laughing so hard. So and I love <laughs> to laugh. So I definitely have that. And I'm trying to think, I mean, I probably should throw in like really amazing like Andy Stanley. I really like him too. He's super in depth um, in the way that he teaches things and the way he views things. And then also Jenny Allen. Man, that girl, I want her to be my best friend. Can we make this public? <laughs> I would love to get to know her a little bit more. And again, I just, I'm really drawn to people that not only are intellectual, but that are self deprecating, you know, that they don't take themselves too seriously but yeah. they have a passion for what they do. Mm. So any person that can bring that to the table and we can have a good laugh and we can go deep, I just, man, I invite everybody. Come and join my table. I'd love to have some <laughs> conversation. <laughs> yeah, good question though. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh. Okay, well, my goodness, I can't believe we're at the end here. Um, we want to just thank you so much for being with us, Paige. Uh, what a blessing. Um, you know, I'm new to the area still, but uh, I'm so thankful that our paths have crossed yeah. and that uh, we have been able to uh, begin developing a relationship and, and sharing our faith in Christ as well. Um, don't forget about, the, for our, our, our viewers here, don't forget about the Respect Team podcast mm -hmm. that uh, Paige and Amy are a part of. And so uh, check that out. If you have any questions, I'm sure you can find a way to contact Miss Paige or Miss Amy, and they'll make sure to set you up on that. So God bless you, Paige. God bless your family and, mm -hmm. uh, and your sanity uh, with the <laughs> yes, four, four kids and e-schooling all the time, right? <laughs> yes, so yes it's, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, this time we're going to close out with our high five. I'm going to count uh, down from three, right, and ready. then we'll do a high five to our cameras, okay? So three, two, one, high five. High five. Right. God bless you guys. Bye. <laughs>